today I show you how to create a map from a bunch of LiDAR files. This is really useful if you want to overlay the bounds of the LiDAR files on a map. So let's see how we can do this in Python and generate a shapefile from a bunch of LAS files. The first thing to do is to open our usual project. If you don't know what it is, you will find the video in the description and I add a reference also here. So uh, open Visual Studio Code with the project we have used um, before and open the relative uh, container. The first action is to create a new Python file. I've created an empty one called less mapper and now I'm gonna add a few um, more details than the one we have built before. This is what we have created in the last episode. Now I'll structure uh, I will structure the file a little better. So let's starting with the main definition and pass. So we are creating here an empty function called main, which actually does nothing, but we can load it when the, the file is called from the command line. So if name is main, then call the main function. Perfect. Okay. This is the, our basic structure is better than we have uh, used uh, in the past. And now I want to add a few options from the command line. So I will import arg parse here and we will use a last pi and shapefile. So uh, I will import shapefile and import um, last pi just the um, required like, um, library then we want to enumerate the file system so we can use different um, we can uh, um, approach the file system enumeration with uh, um, multitude of options i will use globe here so i'll import globe and let's uh, let's define how we will work in the main function so the import are done and then we want first parse arguments then uh, create a shape file then enumerate enumerate the file system for last lad lad in our less or lad it's whatever you want um, files and then process the file the files themselves so remove the pass here as you can see as i remove the pass we have uh, an error in the 15 line um not a problem actually the next thing to do now is to add a parser for the argument so we will use our parse and instantiate a new uh, object of the class arg par argument parser and let's add a few um, arguments i prepared them here so i cut and paste them okay now oh, we can actually go back here and we will add an argument called input with the destination input which is required and another one called output with destination output uh, also required. Everything we get from the command line will be contained in the args uh, variable. So actually we are able to receive input here. So currently I have a directory in my project called less which contains a lot of lath file. We, this will be the input of our project and the output will be the current directory. So we may 
um, already define a launch JSON file and the in the input we want is yes, this one so maybe oh not let's see how we can do this okay the name will be less mapper pi the program will be less mapper pi and we will add args here with an array of uh, input with the last directory and output with a comma so the current directory Okay. okay we can go on with the last mapper now we have everything in the args uh, variable and now we want to create a shapefile so shp will be shapefile writer and we want to save it in the ob output um, destination the IPO output directory and uh, we will add a less shape here and uh, we can define the shape file also using polyline uh, z the idea is to have um, an overlay of two polygons at different qu uh, different quota so um, maybe the minimum box and the maximum box and uh, also we need to have reference so we add a new field called path with type character okay now we have a shape file i also add a close call uh, at the end uh, because uh, it is uh, mandatory so let's do it now uh, before uh, forget it and the next step is to enumerate a system which is really easy in uh, python so we can do a for for the last in the globe call uh, globe globe with the path we are we have in input so arcs input and we are looking for in less file in my case i will be using less but it's actually uh, the same if you have less file you have to obviously use less here and uh, this is already enumerating the directory so we need to process the process the file and to do that we are using with operation using last pi open with the path and uh, let's call f the alias so uh, we won't read the, the whole file we will be using the header so if the header are not correct you need to mm, fix them first but uh, for our case they are okay so no don't we don't need to do that so uh, let's define a new variable called ma, M -A which is actually maximum we take um, the max as the input here so header and the minimum no and the means for the the other the other one so we have the maximum and the minimum and then we can do a little magic using shape line z and i will be cut and paste the whole thing here because it's easy to explain so we can fix the z coordinate this is actually a box and this is another one they are overlapping and this actually use a uh, minimum and maximum to um, create to trace a, a, a square actually a rectangle and then the minimum z to have the bottom polyline uh, uh, the bottom line and then the maximum for to have the upper line so 
this is the shape the file line we have to add also the record for the path which is actually uh, a single entry uh, we can save the last file okay now everything should be running correctly and uh, we can check the last mapper execution let's take a chance okay we have an error here uh the type z was oh yes it's not polygon z polyline z perfect let's run it again okay it's working now we have this file generated in the, the project folder and we can take a look to QGIS if everything has been done correctly let's add a new base layer and add the shape file above it okay it is telling me that we have no CRS so let's set the correct CRS in this case is this one WGS 84 <clears throat> with the 33 north zone UTM okay and then let's zoom to layer actually this is the right uh, the right zone if you want to have a better look of the shape file we can use cloud compare to have a 3d view let's import the shape file okay and this is actually what we are uh, working on with the set of um, of, of uh, boxes we have generated okay everything set up correctly here yeah. this is actually working quite well and this will be useful if you have to match where uh, um, LiDAR survey has been done easily without opening a lot of file also using QJS you can know which file is where so you can see this is actually the 660-62 less fi less file and uh, this is actually a tiling from a bigger file and you can debug you can work you can really work very well using this uh, transformation so for today is everything i hope this uh, journey in python development for geospatial data is interesting to you and will be mm, interesting in the future i'll uh, keep uh, doing these mm, easy scripts for the moment and uh, if you want to know something in something specific leave me a comment ask for a new argument and thank you for listening